In this video, we'll be looking into the global columns. Global columns allow you to have content that it is updating globally whenever change in one place, and you can use them throughout your design. Especially useful if you're doing a membership type of a website or a funnel where you have a content on the uh, left side, for example, as navigation that will update for all the pages. So let me show you how simple it is. Let's create a new page and let's select the membership and uh, yeah, let's go with this design for the example. And let's add membership. So now we've created a page that is, uh, in this case, dedicated for memberships. So when you are doing like a course and you have like this column to be always, you know, the same throughout all the different pages that you have, you don't have to update it on all the you know, pages that you have. You can just update it once and it will update on all places. So now you just click on column and now at the bottom you have this, uh, this is a global column option that will allow you to, from drop down to select save current content as global column and just add a name to it. Let's call it navigation. And just like that, you've made this a global column and it has this uh, indication up top that says global column and it's indicated that this column will be global one. So now we just save. And if you create a new page, which is let's say a duplication of this one, and just like that, we have a new page that is going to be for our course number two. And if you update anything about it, such as the menu, the title, let's say, let's say that we want to call it, or no, let's just have it with a different color so we can easily see it. Just for this example, let's make it green and green here. Let's say that we want to change the color of it. And if we click save, now if we go back to the previous page that was for the previous, um, you know, the previous course you see that it that updated automatically you can also update all the column settings such as you might want to make it uh, maybe dark and uh, you want to add some more padding and click on save again now if we go again into the first the second page you see that it updated automatically there as well so this is how simple it is to use the global columns just click on the column settings and from there you can select which of the global columns you want to use or if you want to save the current content as a global column. So this is just one of the use cases. Obviously, there is so many different ways to use it, uh, such as if you have a section on your pages that you want to use for, you know, let's say this one with the columns for different pricing plans. If you have another page with, again, using this, this different pricing plans, you can just save them as uh, plan one, for example, and plan two and plan three and when you you know copy the whole block for example and add it to another page whenever you change on one place it will change all the places that you've used these global columns so this is a great great usage of all global columns as well uh, for example here we have a block about contact and if you want to have this uh, block again on another page and we want whenever we change something about this one to update on the other one uh, we just make this a global one again for contact and we just click on save and that's it you just saved it and whenever you copy this this block it will come with the global column and how you actually add a global column to an existing one so let's say that we have here just for the sake of the example uh, we have this column and we want to use uh, you know the design from another one we can just select let's say navigation and when you click on it it will say that it will replace whatever content you have on this one with the content coming from the global column so just click on yes and you see that that will update all the settings and all the widget the content about the column that we had uh, saved so this is how simple it is to use the global columns to save them and use them on different places with different use cases. I hope that you enjoyed and if you have any questions don't hesitate and let us know.